In this video, we're going to learn how to find the first non-repeating item in a list using Python. So for example, if we have a list of numbers like this, the first non-repeating item in this list is nine because nine has no repeat, but four here has a repeat. So does five and so does one. And so nine is the first non-repeating item in this list. We could also say that nine is the first unique item in this list. So to find the first non-repeating item in the list, we'll create a function. We'll call the function first non-repeating. And the function will accept the list itself as an argument. So we'll have a parameter here, LST, for that list. Now we'll solve this problem by looping through the items in the list twice. The first time we loop through the items in the list, we'll use a dictionary to keep track of the number of occurrences of each value in the list. So for example, we'll count that four occurs twice. We'll count that five occurs five times. We'll count that one occurs three times. And we'll count that nine occurs one time. Then the second time we loop through the items in the list, we'll return the first item, which we previously counted as only occurring once. So the first thing we'll do is create our occurrences dictionary. Well, if here occurrences is equal to an empty dictionary, and this dictionary is going to store the counts of the number of occurrences of each value in the list. Then we'll create our first loop with four item in list. And the way this loop is going to work is that this loop body is going to run for each item in this list. And each time it does, item is going to be set to the next item in this list. Now, if it's the first time we're encountering this value in the list, we'll set a key of the occurrences dictionary to the value one because we have one occurrence of that value so far. But if we've already encountered that value, then we'll increment the count of the number of occurrences of that value. And we'll know that we've already encountered that value if that value is in our dictionary. So here we'll have if this value is in the dictionary occurrences, then we're going to increment the existing count. So we'll have occurrences at the key item is going to be incremented by one with plus equals one. Otherwise, if we have not yet encountered this value, we'll add it to our dictionary with occurrences at the key item is equal to one because this is the first time we've encountered this value. Let's actually output occurrences and call our function to check to make sure this part is working. So down here, we'll call first non-repeating and we'll pass it numbers. And if we save the program and give it a try, we'll see here we have a dictionary with the keys four, five, and one, and nine, and so on. And we can see, for example, that four has two occurrences, which is correct. And five has five occurrences, which is correct. And one has three occurrences, which is correct. And nine has one occurrence. So next we'll make our second loop. Down here, we'll have four, item in list. And this time what we'll do is check to see if the number of occurrences of this item is one. If that's the case, then we can return this item. So if the occurrences at the key item is equal to one, then we can return that item. Now, if we loop through the entire list and we never find that an item has only one occurrence, that means there is no non-repeating item in the list and instead we'll have here return none. Now let's test out our function. We'll call print to output the return value. Then we'll save our program and try it out. And we do get nine, which is correct. We could test out the function with a list where all the numbers are repeating. So for example, we could have here other numbers is equal to, and we'll have one, two, three, four, and then one, two, three, four, so all the numbers are repeating. Then down here, we'll pass the function other numbers and we'll save it and try it out. And we'll get here none, which is correct. So this is how we can find the first non-repeating item in a list using Python. Check out PortfolioCourses.com where we'll help you build a portfolio that will impress employers.